Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I'm going to be asking one of the most asked questions that I get. What do Thai people actually eat for breakfast? Now this isn't the easiest question to answer because truth be told, Thai people eat pretty much anything for breakfast. Noodles, noodle soup, stir fries, curries, but there are three dishes that I want to show you today that I think are quintessential Thai breakfast dishes. Number one, more bing. So if you're not familiar with more bing, you're going to see these on every street corner in Thailand, grilled pork skewers. You're tinny, kippy, Lana. Sip my beer. Alright, so they've been here for about 10 years. You're going to see these on every street corner in Thailand, but like the ones I did in yesterday's video, so I apologise if you've seen these too much, guys. These are actually pieces of pork shoulder, and then you've got those lovely pieces of pork fat on the bottom and running all the way through. So that's going to keep them nice and soft. Little marinated soy sauce, oyster sauce, little bit of a uh, little bit of coriander root and some pepper. And you'll notice Auntie's cutting off the the, the charcoal bits, the black bits, the the, the grilled bits. I'll sign mine, I'll have. 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 All right, guys, so apologies if you're a little bit bored of seeing more ping because it might be yesterday's video, it might be tomorrow's video, but I go to see another more ping lady and they're pretty much exactly the same old school skewers with the pork fat. I'll explain a little bit more in a minute about what I mean if you're not familiar with the different more bing we have in Thailand but yeah apologizing but you can never have too many pork skewers can you? I think I have. All right guys we got a little we got a little uh we got a little bag full we might as well eat these here I think. Right I'm not gonna spend too long banging on about a pork skewer but Oh my god. Alright, I might spend some time banging on about a board score. That, my friends, is what you call a more bing. Now, a lot of times these days, more bing is just. Uh, I, I love all more bing, but a lot of them are just um, like factory made and then they cook them, or even if they make them themselves, a lot of the time they're made with more pot, which is uh, like mint sport. Or... Yeah, anyway, even when they are done with the pork shoulder, a lot of the time they're very, very soft. There's not much bite to them. These are what you'd call like boran, like old school recipe ones. Sweet, salty, charred, garlicky. Absolute. Porky goodness. The the layer of fat that they're putting in between the firm pieces of shoulder is absolutely genius. Keeping the whole thing nice and soft. Absolutely incredible. These give the ones I went for yesterday with Rob from Project Bangkok a run for their money. Mm. That's a top first spot. Come on, Gab. Bye bye. Bye bye. Alright, so this is why I come to these places. That lovely lady just walked me all the way down to the jock shop because I wasn't sure which side it was. Um, and there is a reason why I come to these random back streets that no one else comes to. And um, I'm in Bang Prom, if anyone's wondering. Now, the point of this video isn't to tell you to come here specifically to eat, it is just to show you three dishes you're going to find in any sort of morning market any street that has a lot of sellers in the morning you're going to find these dishes so you can find the ones you like best but to be honest you're going to struggle to find better more thing than this next stop number two job all right so she's throwing me off because they've actually got fish and they've got pork so i'm not really sure what to do with that now but i've gone with the pork i don't know maybe i should get the fish let's have a look Oh, 
we've got a big pot cooking over there. This is the job. So this is the uh, oh, how time? So cooking over charcoal, old school. Big pot cooking there, soup. Right, and we've got up. Ooh. Oh, may I come there? May I say come? Come on, come. Come on, And these are the bits. So we've got the liver, we've got pork meatballs, we've got more sap, which is. Uh, Minced pork, some more kreng nai. Then we've got ginger hon hon, which is spring onions, pak chi, coriander. Just gonna crack me a nice egg in there. Wow. Up and up. Oh, this is perfect. Look at this, guys. She's giving me egg cake. She made these herself. Wow. Oh, cop on cup. All right, so we've got some seasoning sauce. We've got a big nam som. Some cacao. Cup. White pepper. Perfect. It's a little bit of sugar. Are we going to use that? Oh, no. Chili. Dry chili. Now, I'll give someone extra points here. There's a prize for you guys if you can guess. Which one of these I'm gonna put in? Can you? I just want to try the. Uh, I just want to try this first. Well, I just want to try the. Um, okay, so I just want to try it with nothing in. I don't think it's gonna taste of anything actually. Mmm. Oh, actually, it does have flavour. Pure pork bone stock. That's the flavour. Mm. Okay, but I'm gonna put some bits and pieces in. See your cow, or just okay. soy sauce. We'll go with a little bit of chili, shall we? We'll go with a little bit of vinegar. I like this because it's got the little bird's eye chilies in it, look. Get in there. Let's give that a mix up. Oh yes, just that perfectly poached egg. I'll tell you what guys, this reminds me of being in Luang Prabang in the misty mountains. That's what this reminds me of guys. Let's get a bit of everything, shall we? Oh, let's get the egg yolk, a little bit of that liver, shall we? All right, that's the stuff. Liver cooked to perfection. I never ate liver at all before I moved to Thailand. Um, always overcooked, but when you get it here and it's just cooked through, it's perfect. I alluded to Luang Prabang because they sell this in a market in the middle of Luang Prabang in Northern Laos. And when we've been and it's been cold and you've got all the mist over the mountains, you're just sitting out. Um, it's the same in Chiang Khan, Chiang Kong, anywhere down the Mekong River, perfect. And of course, it's not cold because we're in Bangkok, but the weather has dropped, so it is cool season now. So this is the perfect, for me, comforting dish. First thing in the morning, you've got that little breeze. Rich pork, handmade meatballs, which as you know in Thailand are a rarity. Mm. Oh, the meatballs are unreal. Mm. They're like like mini mini uh they're like mini burgers. Mm. Great homemade pork stock. You can smell the smoke from the tao, the tao tan, which is charcoal pot. She's cooking old school over charcoal. Mm. That's a 10. Alright, next up guys, we've got the canon pan, so egg sugar cakes. 
coconut on top. We've got some crispy is that meat crop. Not sure. Anyway, we'll try one. She's made these herself, so there's a different texture than I'm used to. Very soft and there's something sour, I think. I'm not sure if it's vinegar in here. I could get on with those. I thought they were going to be like super sweet. You got a little bit of you got a little bit of grated coconut on top. Mm. Not sure I could eat them for breakfast, but very very nice all the same. In fact. I do know someone who'll love these. Roman Cook Jr. So I'm gonna bring these home because if he watches this and finds out I had a cake and didn't bring him any, I'm a dead man. The other thing I love about just coming to these areas where they get absolutely zero tourists, so you will not see another tourist around here, is the fact that they're all just sort of set up outside their houses. This has got the kind of feel of going out to the provinces. So something I love to do, as you know. So you could tell me I'm anywhere. You could tell me I'm up in Isan or up in the north or anywhere and I believe you because this does not feel like Bangkok especially as I keep preaching if you've only been to Sukhumvit, Silom, Khao San etc etc like this is just someone's house set up a restaurant taxi drivers here students bank workers there's a couple of schools up here so you've got like school students and that I mean what more do you want from a trip to Thailand and I think this and the first dish has cost me a grand total of about 35 bucks. Top of my God. Bye bye. Top of my All right, so what are we on now? We're on a grand total of 60 baht. That was 40 baht because I got all the extras, but you can get a bowl in there for 15 baht, just plain. Absolute bargain. 40 baht, less than a pound, dollar 20. What more do you want? We're going to go back past the morphing now, head up to my third absolute nailed on breakfast dish, although they do eat it at all times of the day, but it's a breakfast dish. Cow monkey. By the way, guys, I forgot to mention, before I go any further, let me know in the comments what you think about the camera in this video, because I've got myself a new little camera, so I need you to tell me what you're thinking about the audio quality and the picture quality. Um, and if it's any good, well, obviously we'll continue to use it. If it's not any good, it's in the bin. All right, guys, this, this is proper. We've even got a Shao Chuan Chim. So this is like Thai Michelin before they have Michelin here. Much better than the Michelin Guide. All right, another breakfast dish actually that I haven't even mentioned, but they've got as well. Patongko. So fried Chinese donuts, I guess, with Sankaya. And um, we'll do the lottery as well while we're here. Oh. Alright guys, as I said, a beautiful thing about this place, we've got the Holy Trinity. We've got Kayang, Kay Thod, Kay Pum. So boiled, grilled fried we've got some fried crispy onions the beautiful thing about this so usually in kaumangai shops we've got one sauce which is this or two sauces with a sweet chili sauce if you get the fried one nam tim kaumangai yellow bean sauce soy sauce sugar a little bit of stock chili ginger nam tim tiao which is the isan dipping sauce and sweet chili sauce we're not going to use this i love the little homemade lids Right, we're gonna try a little bit each separately. So I'll try some of the tun, the boiled meat, and they've given me breast because if you're a foreigner, they're gonna give you breast. Um, and then I've got some uh, some fried, and then we'll go with the grilled. All right, let's go. Yeah, sauce is decent. Quite heavy on the old uh, dark soy. Loads of chilies, loads of ginger. You know, I don't mind getting breast meat when it's that soft. Mm. You can see with the rice that every single little morsel is separated. Mm. 
nice and garlicky, nice bit of bite. Well, let's try this fried chicken. The fried chicken is the one for me. It's got that crispy, floured batter. Super, super crispy. The fried chicken's worth coming down here alone for. Do you know what? I'm gonna have a little bit of nam chim jiao on my fried chicken. But don't tell anyone. I think they used to do nam chim seafood in here as well. Mm. Hello, Anna. We're gonna get a little bit of the uh, grilled chicken. Jiao sauce, bit of the rice. Oh, that's been done over coals. That is smoky as. So this dish was brought to Singapore, Malaysia, Thailand by Chinese immigrants 200 odd years ago, whenever. Um, you'll have to go on OTR Food Travel History if you want the exact dates. But some shops sell Kayang. Like this shop, which is an Isan dish. It's an Isan style of chicken or a Lao style of chicken. So, let me ask someone once, why do you sell this? Because it's, it's, it doesn't, it's not traditionally, like you wouldn't find that in any other country. They said because so many of the taxi drivers and the workers and stuff traditionally came from Isan, they wanted some grilled chicken with it. So, that's how it took off. So, migration from Lao and Isan again has produced us an amazing dish. There you have it, guys. Three epic breakfast dishes for you to try on your next trip to Thailand. All my Thai viewers, answer me in the questions, please. Did I get three breakfast dishes correctly or are you going to tell me, look, you don't know anything about Thailand? Either way, it's absolutely fine. Thank you very much again for watching, guys. As always, links to everywhere I went today in the description box below. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.